Hey guys, so in this tutorial, I will show you the easiest and the fastest way to make this super simple 3D printed QR code. But if you want to make something like this really cool QR code city tag, make sure to stick around and watch till the end of this video. So to create a QR code of your own, you need to use an online QR generator. There are a lot of QR code online generators like the qrcodegenerator.com, qrcodemonkey.com. But this website here is literally the only website you need to go to. It generates an STL file of your QR code automatically, so you don't need to go through all the trouble of converting a QR code picture to SVG, then SVG to STL, and all of that stuff. For this tutorial, I'm going to make a QR code that directs people to my YouTube channel. So let's type in the link of my YouTube channel here under the tab text slash URL. Let's make it 15 millimeters wide, rounded, and 2 millimeters thick. I'll just leave the rest as is. You can explore other options like adding a keychain hole or a recess for an RFID chip, but that's entirely up to you. Click Generate 3D Model. Wait for a few seconds until it gets generated and you can preview your code here. Before downloading the file, scan the code with your phone to make sure that is working. Choose binary for the STL file, no for separate parts, hit save as STL and save it on a computer. Once you have downloaded the STL file, open it in your favorite slice of software and in this case, I'll be using Bamboo Studio. Before we start slicing, let's change some settings. I'll be using my A1 mini printer to print the QR code, so this is already correct. I'll also be using the standard 0.4 stock nozzle and a textured PEI plate that come with the printer. Set the preset to 0.2 millimeters standard. We also want to slow down the speed for the top surface, so hover to advanced, activate it, and go to the speed option. Let's reduce the speed for the top surface to 50. Now let's use the paint tool to paint the layers. The generated STL file doesn't contain any information about the colors of your model, so that's why it's basically just in one color. You need to set the color manually in the slicer. Of course, if you don't own a printer that supports multicolor printing, you can skip this step altogether. The paint tool won't show up if you only have one filament, it only shows up when you have more than one. So let's add a new filament by clicking this plus symbol. We're only going to be needing two colors here, which is black and white. Of course, you can get creative and print your QR code in other different colors, but keep in mind that it might affect the scannability of your code. You want the whole model to be black first. So if it's not black, right click on the model, go to change filament and select black. Now hover to the top bar and click the paint tool. Now choose white, click the fill tool and click the base to change its color to white. I'll also paint the back and the sides white so that way our printer only needs to change the filament once. Use your phone to double check if the code is working. Next, let's slice our plate. Hover to the top bar and click slice plate. Pay no attention to the blocky figure on the plate this is a prime tower that our slicer generated, not to be confused with the perch tower though. The purpose of the prime tower is to prime the nozzle to make sure that the flow and the pressure are consistent. You can leave it as is, or if you want to save some filament or you don't really care for little imperfections, you can turn this off. Simply go back to prepare, click others, and disable the prime tower. Click slice plate again, hit print, make sure to choose the correct spools and click send. If you have a 3D printer that doesn't support multicolor printing or you don't have the AMS, you might need to pause your print at a certain height and change out the filament manually. So here's how the QR code turned out. I'm going to use my phone here to scan the QR code. And it does direct me to my YouTube channel. Now you can make the code bigger to improve the overall look of your QR code if you want, or use a smaller nozzle like the 0.2 nozzle. So let's use the 0.2 nozzle and see if that improves the printing quality. I'm going to take it up a notch and create the QR code city tag with some added designs. Now we're going to use this website again to generate our QR code. And we're going to give it the same width and thickness, but this time let's add an icon. You can pick any because we're going to remove it later. 
Now let's enable the QR city option. Set the maximum height to 3 millimeters. Now you can add text here, but you don't get to change the font style. So you just type anything and we can change it later. Hit generate 3D model and wait for it to finish. If you're happy with how that looks, leave the file type as binary and separate parts as no and hit save as SDL. We're going to edit our QR code in a CAD program Fusion 360. Now if you don't have it, go download it, it's free for personal use. To import our SDL file, hover to insert, then insert mesh. Choose the file you just downloaded, click open, and then click OK. Click the mesh tab to enter the mesh menu. Click prepare and select generate face group. Select the QR code, set the type to accurate and click OK. Now click modify and select convert mesh. Select the QR code and click OK. This process converts the mesh body into a solid body and solid bodies are easier to work with in Fusion 360. So let's remove the play icon and the number one. Click solid to enter the solid menu and then click create sketch. Now you need to define the plane, but just select the blank area. We're going to draw two rectangles, one around the number one and another one around the play icon. Then click finish sketch. Find extrude in the solid menu. Select both rectangles. Set the operation to cut and extrude up. Now that will leave us with blank spaces where we can add our own designs. Now I'm going to use this silhouette picture of my YouTube logo to replace the play icon and this cursor below the text that we're going to add later. For that, you need to convert the pictures into SVG. Go to this website here, upload the pictures and select SVG and hit convert. Now let's head over to Fusion 360 and add the logo first. Click insert, then insert SVG and select the logo. Click the blank area to insert the logo on the base of the QR code. If you don't see it, don't worry, it's probably way too big, so just rescale it. Then position it at the center where the play icon was. Click OK, then click finish sketch. Click extrude, select the logo and type in one millimeter. You can set the operation to new body or join. It's really up to you. Now I want to add the text subscribe here and I can do that using this text tool, but let's just do that in Bamboo Studio later. I'm still gonna add the text here so I know where to place my cursor icon. Let's add our cursor icon and the process is the same as what we did with our logo earlier. I'm going to extrude only the outline of the cursor and make it one millimeter high. Once we're done, we're going to export this as 3MF file. Let's open the file in our slicer. You can also just click and drag the file into the software. Now I'm going to add the text here. So let's change the filament color to white first because it's kind of hard to see the text if it's just black. Click the text tool and I'm going to add the text subscribe just below the code. Let's change the filament color back to black and use different paint tools to paint our QR code. We are using the 0.2 nozzle this time so make sure to change the preset and we want to make our QR code to look as good as possible so we're going to change a lot of settings here. Change the wall generator to Arachne, then the setting to this, and I'll set the wall loop to 2 and sparse and fill is okay at 10%. We're also going to print this slowly, so let's reduce the outer wall to 50, inner to 50, internal solid fill to 100, and top surface to 50. Let's reduce the travel speed to 500 as well. Now hit slice and print.
As expected, the print quality is amazing when we use the 0.2 nozzle to print 3D models with fine details like what we have here on our QR code. This tutorial got longer than I expected, but if you find it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you next time.